fine. Welcome to our session. Let us discuss the following question. The question says, find the mean deviation about the mean for the data in exercises 9 and 10. This is the data given to us and we have to find the mean deviation about the mean of this data. We will first learn the steps which are involved in the calculation of mean deviation about mean of a continuous frequency distribution. In the first step, we obtain the midpoint of each class interval which is denoted by xi and this xi is equal to upper limit plus lower limit divided by 2. Then we find the mean of the given data by using the formula mean is equal to 1 by n into summation i goes from 1 to n fi xi where n is equal to summation i goes from 1 to 8 m phi. In the second step, we find the deviation of e to x i from x bar, that is x1 minus x bar, x2 minus x bar, so on x n minus x bar. In the third step, we find the absolute value of each deviation, that is, drop the minus sign if it is there, that is mod of x1 minus x bar, mod of x2 minus x bar, and so on. And in the last step, we find the mean of the absolute values of the deviations. This mean is the mean deviation about mean. That is, mean deviation about mean is equal to 1 by n into summation i goes from 1 to n fi into mod xi minus x bar, where n is equal to summation i goes from 1 to n fi. Always remember these steps. So keeping this in mind, let's now begin with the solution. We will first make a table from the given data. We have written the given information in the first two columns. We will first find midpoint of each class interval. We know that midpoint is obtained by adding the upper and lower limit and then Dividing the sum of upper and lower limit by 2. Now the first class interval is 95 to 105. Here the lower limit is 95 and upper limit is 105. So midpoint is 95 plus 105 divided by 2. And this is equal to 200 by 2. And 200 by 2 is 100. Then we have 105 plus 150 by 2 and this is equal to 110. Then we have 115 plus 125 by 2. This is equal to 120. Then we have 125 plus 135 by 2. And this is equal to 130. 135 plus 145 by 2 is 140. And 145 plus 155 by 2 is 150. Now we will find product of Fi and Xi. In the first row, Fi is 9 and Xi is 100. So Fi into Xi is 900. Then we have 13 into 110. This is equal to 1. 1430, 26 into 120 is 3120, 30 into 130 is 3900, 12 into 140 is 1680, 10 into 150 is 1500. We know that n is equal to summation i goes from 1 to n fi. Here, n is equal to summation i goes from 1 to 6 fi and this is equal to 9 plus 13 plus 26 plus 30 plus 12 plus 10. And this is equal to 100. So sum of all these frequencies is 100. Now we will find summation i goes from 1 to 6 fi xi this is equal to 900 plus 1430 plus 3120 plus 
plus 1680 plus 1500 and this is equal to 12,530. Now we will find mean. We know that mean is equal to 1 by n into summation i goes from 1 to 6 f i x i. And this is equal to 1 by 100 into 12,530 and this is equal to 125.3. So mean of the given data is 125.3. We will find xi minus x bar. In the first row xi is 100 and we know that x bar is equal to 125.3. So we have 100 minus 125.3 and this is equal to minus 25.3. Then we have 110 minus 125.3 and this is equal to minus 15.3. Then we have minus 5.3. Then we have 4.7. 140 minus 125.3 is 14.7. 150 minus 125.3 is 24.7. Now we will find mod of xi minus x bar. Absolute value of minus 25.3 is 25.3, absolute value of minus 15.3 is 15.3 and absolute value of minus 5.3 is 5.3. Absolute value of 4.7, 14.7 and 24.7 is 4.7, 14.7 and 24.7. We will find product of fi and mod xi minus x bar. 9 into 25.3 is 227.7. 13 into 15.3 is 198.9. 26 into 5.3 is 137.8. 30 into 4.7 is 141. 12 into 14.7 is 176.4. 10 into 24.7 is 247. On adding all this, we get 1128.7. I goes from 1 to 6. Fi into mod xi minus x bar is... 1128.7. Now we will find mean deviation about mean. Now mean deviation about mean is equal to 1 by n into summation. I goes from 1 to 6 fi into mod xi minus x bar. This is equal to 1 by 100 into 1128.7. And this is equal to 11.28. Hence our required answer is 11.28. So this completes the session. Bye.